This is Vivo's new gaming phone. Wag na natin patagalin. Let's unbox this thing. Okay, so what we have with us is the Vivo T1 5G. Very clean ang look ng packaging niya, and you have a sneak peek of the key specs on the back, which includes Qualcomm Snapdragon 7785G, a 6.44 inch AMOLED screen, 64 megapixel camera, and 66 watt flash charging. Now, yung unang makita natin sa loob ng box is, well, that cardboard insert and of course, nandito yung jelly case at yung ibang mga documents. Now, next up is the phone itself. We got it in turbo black, although parang medyo may pagka dark blue din siya. Let's set this aside for now. You also have the 66 watt flash charging brick, ang all important na USB-C cable, and of course, hindi pa ding makalimutan ang SIM ejector pin. Before we get to the rest of the video, I just want to share that one of the most anticipated mobile games from Japan is now in the Philippines, E6 Mobile, The Ark of Napish Thim, and a big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. This RPG classic is developed by one of the most experienced game companies in Japan, Nihon Falcom. It's available for both Android and iOS, plus it's already been downloaded millions of times across Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Macau. In E6, you can enjoy stunning graphics that give a nod to the original JRPG mixed with immersive gameplay to give you a better experience with your mobile device. There are five classes to choose from, Warrior, Mage, Ranger, Assassin, and Samurai, which you can then develop into nine subclasses. You can go through dungeons, the story mode, treasure hunts, or participate in one of the epic boss battles with your preferred gameplay style. Of course, there's also a dose of cuteness here where you can conjure pets to help you in battle and give them stylish makeovers. There are also a ton of things you can do in E6 Mobile apart from combat. You can farm, furnish your home, and you can even get married to receive some awesome couple gifts. If that sounds like something you want to check out, there will be links down below. Now let's get back to the rest of the video. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, let's talk about the all-important pricing for this phone. So the official SRP of Vivo T1 5G is 16,999 pesos. But there are promos for this phone. Na to. I'll leave a link down below so you can check it out. But I believe sa pre-orders may included na Basius earphones, Basius na power bank. I think may Dito SIM din na included. But ang tanong is ano ba yung offer ni Vivo sa T1 5G? Let's take a closer look at the phone. Now, in terms of design, I'm not sure about that camera array. Gets ko na highlight para sa phone na to is yung main camera niya, pero ako lang siguro, I guess, it's a matter of personal preference. Let's see what the cams can do later on. The rest of the back panel though, I really, really like. Maganda yung finish niya. You guys know that we are big fans of matte finishes dito sa channel na to. Hindi siya fingerprint magnet plus. Kahit na plastic yung liquid niya, it does feel like it's made out of glass. So it does feel premium in hand. Now, like I said earlier, we got the phone in turbo black, but it's also available in turbo cyan. Feeling ko sobrang ganda ng colorway na yun, And sana yun na lang yung pinadala sa amin for review. As for the display, I think this is gonna be a toss up for some people. Kasi on one hand, okay yung picture quality niya. Kasi AMOLED panel nga yung gamit ni Vivo para sa phone na to. Personally, yun ang preference ko and I don't mind not having super high refresh rates. That's more of a good to have than a must have for me. But just to give you guys more context, sabi ko nga kanina, 6.4 inches yung screen ng T1. Full HD plus yung resolution niya, tapos hanggang 90 hertz yung refresh rate niya. So it's not quite as buttery smooth as 120 hertz, pero for me, okay lang yun. But I really want to know, lagay nyo lang sa comment section, ano ba yung preferred ninyo? High refresh rates or an AMOLED panel? Again, let me know down below. But the experience of watching videos on the screen has been really good. Medyo downside nga lang na isa lang yung speaker ng phone na to in a price point na usually we get stereo speakers. Now the T1 does have an in-display fingerprint scanner and it does unlock the phone quite fast and it's also fairly accurate. Now jumping into the phone's performance, so far it behaves pretty much how a device equipped with a Snapdragon 778 should, which by the way, this is also equipped with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. It should be good enough for most popular games available right now. Call of Duty pa lang yung nasasubukan ko. So we'll have to try out other titles to see what this phone can really do or kung may kakaiba sa optimization niya. Pero so far, like I said, so far, so good. 
Now Vivo says that the T1 5G also has a flagship level cooling system so I look forward to stressing this phone out to see kung iinit nga ba siya. Palitaan ko kayo sa full review. Now as for the battery of the T1, you have a 5000 mAh capacity so depending on how you use your phone, this could be good for up to a day and a half. Pero yung charging speed is important dito. Again, 66 watts. Now I did a 30 minute charge test and it went from 0 to 65%. So feeling ko yung full charge nito is about 45 minutes to 50 minutes. So okay na yun. So kung nakalimutan nyo mag-charge sa gabi, plug nyo lang bago kayo maligo and you should have enough juice for the day before you have to leave the house. Now lastly, let's talk about the cameras. Now for the specs, 64 megapixel main, 8 megapixel ultra wide, and ang walang kamatayang 2 megapixel macro camera. So I haven't been able to take this phone out just yet, but the photos we took around the house lang or around our street, and they do look pretty good. No surprises na medyo saturated yung colors in true vivo fashion. Pero in my opinion, they're tastefully done. It doesn't go too overboard. There's also very little difference between the 64 megapixel main camera and the 8 megapixel ultra wide, which I really, really appreciate. The front camera does a pretty good job as well. It's at 16 megapixel cameras, but I also want to show you guys the video performance. So here we go. Okay, so quickly testing the front camera on the Vivo T1 5G to see what it's like. Of course, I'm wearing a black mask. So it might be overexposed. Let me remove that to see if it will expose properly. It looks about the same. So there you go. That's just a quick sample from the front camera of the new Vivo T1 5G. So let's switch over to the back to see what the rear cameras can do. Okay, so here's a quick uh, test of the rear camera. Some video the rear camera. Uh, may stabilization to, and there's even an ultra stabilization mode. Pero parang ito parang okay na eh. But as you can see, medyo overexposed yung sky. Just take notice. Pero everything else, okay naman. I'm not gonna complain. Baka gusto niya lang babaan ng konting exposure para mas maganda yung labas ng video. But so far, so good. Lipat naman tayo sa ultra stabilization to see what that's like. Okay, so switching over naman tayo sa ultra stabilization. And you can really tell the difference. Medyo may delay yung movement ng camera when I swing it over. And actually, even if like I bob up and down, actually gumagalo yung camera. Parang steady pa rin siya. So, okay to pero may crop. So, tandaan nyo lang yun. Pero yung exposure naman, halos pareho lang. So, there you go. Ultra stabilization on the Vivo T1 5G. Now, as you guys saw, medyo wild siya yung ultra stabilization. Perfect yan for run and gun vloggers or kung mahilig yung mag-skateboard, yung mag -anon. Perfect yung ultra stabilization na yan. Pero, Okay din naman yung regular stabilization lang. So in terms of vlogging, I think this would be a pretty good match. Pero again, we have to test this out further. As for software, of course, Vivo yung smartphone nato. So we have Fun Touch OS. There's a fair amount of bloatware present and suggested apps from their own store. It's easy enough to remove, but I wish na wala na lang siya. Pero I guess you do have to promote your own. So yun. And I guess that's pretty much it for now. What did you guys think of the Vivo T1 5G? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, sub to the channel, make sure you hit that notification bell. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll try my best to get to them as soon as I can. For all the latest in tech, head to unbox.ph plus follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and on TikTok. My name is Tito James. Peace, God bless. See you guys next time. And of course, stay safe, Parent.